I do a lot of interviews with franchisees and never seen someone worth a thousand. And I know Jim was very impressed when he told me last night about it. So how have you managed to get so many good five-star reviews over the years? For me, I'm trying to provide us with a better service. Even am my English not perfect? If I find some of the issues, the TV signal issue, reception is very bad. I'm trying to explain what's happening in your place and that there's some option A, B, C. But I always tell them option A or option B, option three has us in the pros and cons. I think they'll make us something a little bit comfortable or something that they believe. My suggestion, I believe they really uh, happy with. So I'm joined by Jake Lee today on our Jim's podcast. And first of all, Jake, you've just passed your 10 years with the Jim's group. So congratulations. I know Jim called you and that's why he emailed me. And you looked at your star rating and Jim thinks you've got the record star rating in the entire of Jim's group. So out of 5,000 franchisees, we think you've got the most yeah. five-star reviews in the system, which is more than a thousand. So well done. Yeah. Well done. And we're going to present present you with the Nicole Silver membership as well. So this is basically two free nights to any Macaw Hotel across North Asia. There's all these benefits as well. So I'll get this to you once we finish the interview. But um, that's two free nights on us as well and on behalf of Jim and the Jim's group. We thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. Let me, thank let, you me just, much. let me just start off with first, Jake. What were you doing prior to Jim's antennas? I worked for a U.S. multinational company in Seoul, Seoul brands. I, I immigrated from Korea in 2012. I used to work for the U.S. multinational company, met mainly in charge of the, some of the accounting and finance. And the last few years, and the I used to work at some that management team. Then I left some of the company uh, right before coming to Australia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one for uh, the pharmaceutical company named Mark Shabendon, MSD, and the other one is for. Cutting at a bearing company for Timken and at 11 years and 10 years. Yeah. Wow. So you've come to Australia. Did you work over here or did you look to buy a business or what did you do? No, I work in the, but right after some that, you know, uh, came to some the Australia, I started to some my business for distributing for, how do you say, ice drink or something like in purse. Then one year, Sandy, I stopped because of some that. It's a very slow adopt by the some that Australian people like us some that it's a really cool and really nice drink, but the most of people reluctant to buy because it's a little different way of the some that drinking. So I stopped my business one year one year after. Then I got to know the some that gyms and tennis by chance and the I started the some that this business because I like the some that audio visual devices and speakers or sound like that. So I got to know the some that gyms and tennis. I met Cameron, then Cameron make us some that all the process to start it, this, this business in 10 years back. Yeah. So 10 years ago, did you come to do the training in Melbourne or where did you do the training? The on the job training in on Perth and the on the introduction for the some the whole package for the some the training in Melbourne. Then other job related training is done in Perth with the some of the our trainer. And you, you said you had an interest in audio, visual, and digital stuff to do the antenna. So how has the division changed from 2012 to now? Because um, there's obviously a lot of new technology that comes out. You guys do a lot of new services and different things. So how has it changed from when you first started to where you are now? There's a few thin uh, differences. And the, at the beginning stage, when I started the Sunday Gyms antennas, and there's no, well, actually, uh, star rating for the Sunday any system for the Sunday th- for example, like uh, some of the four or uh, previous uh, work in the some of the Korea, we we put on some of the three sixty degree feedback from uh, some of the each stakeholders. For example, like a uh, subordinate or colleagues or my bosses like that. But in jeans, jeans and tennis, when I joined the jeans and tennis, we don't have any star rating at the time. Then a few years later, and then we started to some that get a star rating on the, in the system standpoint. It's more user uh, friendly. We can access it for some of the any other job related to the system. So it's getting uh, easier and getting uh, friendly. But the in terms of service standpoint, at the time, there's only one one or two services we can provide us from the uh, customers. One for the antenna business, for the some that supply an instant antenna or something other antenna related for the some job and the AV system. But now we got many other some the job like us some that security and other security related job and the other uh, CCTV or whatever, then we can provide some more wide range of the service to the customer. That's a little different than beginning stage and now. 
Yeah, because you guys, even though it's called gyms and antennas, like lots of gyms divisions, you can do a lot more than that, like data points, Wi-Fi, everything. So imagine to just tell customers, what are some more of the jobs they might not think you do that you have done in your business? That's right. At the time, and the, uh, the other some that broadband was some that MBN is not widely spread out in the national light. Then that it just started to uh, spread, and that we can get some more job for like some that MBN or some other data or some other jobs is getting shipped from us and then and up to some of the other MBN and security job at the moment. So we started to get more wide range of the some the job at the moment. Yeah. Now, how do you learn those skills? Is there ongoing training to learn this stuff, or how do you go about learning those services? There's a many, many different ways to get us in the job uh, training state current. And the one for us in the, we get us in the job from our manufacturer. Normally, for example, like us in that, there's many suppliers, for example, like us in that, if you need us in that uh, security training relation for us in that some specific product or some of the specific, uh, the Beijing knowledge for us in this, uh, in the area, we can organize us in that supplier, the system, the specialist for the, some of the training, and they're going to provide us with the, some of the, the product training with the, any other on the job training like that. So the other way we can participate in uh, some of that industrial training education for the, some of the general for training, for example, like uh, we need uh, some qualification to the job, to do the job, for example, like a master table or, or any other some of the job related job for the some of the best another side of the, some of the training, but Mostly in case of some of the product or some of the technical training, we can we can organize some of that uh, the manufacturer or suppliers uh, training. Yeah, great great to hear. Yeah, some divisions like our pool care division as well, similar thing where the suppliers train them up and similar things to exactly. that. Exactly. Awesome. That's right. Now let's talk about the security side of it. So a lot of people, a lot of tennis franchisees can do the security component as well. So what sort of security services do you offer in your business? We provide with the, some of the first is the, some of the security panel for the, some of the alarm system in the house. And the other one is people is more interested in some of the security because some of the surveillance for the, some of the surround their house, for the, some of the CCTV. The main area is for the, some of the security panel and the other one is for CCTV outside of the, some of the surround their house to monitor 24-7. Is that becoming more popular from what you see with home security, people yeah. taking that more serious? Yeah. <laughs> Popular and getting more at the inter- interactive for the, some of the people for the, some of that CCTV that that's the more popular and getting popular and bigger and bigger. Then I think it's just started from some of the teams and, and as we started just some of the CCTV business uh, service to the customer uh, last year mainly. Then and the we is getting the number of the some of the franchise is uh, interesting. They're gonna. Uh, they're going to prepare for the, some of the qualification and the setup uh, for the, some of the, for the process to be uh, some of the right uh, qualification to the job. Then our team, and then we have uh, 12 members, but uh, we got uh, set seven or eight no- uh, numbers of the franchise started to some of the security and CCTV business. Yeah, is it is it very is it a very popular service in your business? Do you find yourself doing a couple of those jobs a week, or how many jobs roughly do you do of those? For antenna and security, uh, just for security, just let's say the security. Just component. security, uh, just yeah. security. For me, I'm not ready. I'm set. I'm in setting process. Okay. So I, I I got some that I need some that we need some that two qualification one for installer agent uh, installer license. The other is agent license. So I'm uh, setting a process for the, some that one. And mostly, currently, and uh, other freight then and they're according to them, and they, they got some they're getting more job from our CCTV and security area. But for me, mostly I work for the some and and I and other MBN or the some that data or something job is more uh, most of the some that job from custom from now at the moment. Yeah, so I was just going to literally ask you that. So in your business, Jake, you're just so most of your work is the antenna. Let's say installation, you know, reception, and you're doing a lot of MBN and data in people's homes. And Imagine it's all, yep. Home theater system, manager. Home theater is too ready. Very, very big business, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the home theater system side of it. So, if someone said, so someone calls you and says, I don't know what to do. What, what, what do you sort of advise them, or what are your things are you asking, or what would you recommend for customers? The technology is changing very fast. I mean, there's some that we have to try to 
stay crowned all the time, then we have to get the, some, all the information through internet or something, be custom that any other manufacturer to get the, some better sort better product product or some that. So if I meet the customer, we provide the, some option for because there's so many different tastes. All the customers had some the different need and different requirement. For example, like uh, some some customer need uh, some focus on uh, some the project uh, or with uh, some the white uh, the screen or but some customer need uh, some that bigger television with a bigger TV with uh, some that distant uh, model with uh, some that depending on the some that we trying to listen from uh, the customer first for me and I'm trying to get uh, some their need then if they interest in some certain portion of the like uh, certain area then we kind of provide one or two two or three options to select from their side and the if we can give them some idea then the customer really happy with us that they're gonna get the if it, they can select one or two or something from out of some option then that they can suggest us some that give them some that thought then if they accept it and we can do the job normally like that now, what's, what's sort of more popular for your customers? Are people wanting projectors in their home or they're wanting to just upgrade the sound or what's absolutely, the sort of thing you find? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely country is TV, LED TV or, or OLED TV. TV is more bigger and bigger and everybody believes the bigger is the better. Then this is some, this is some conflict between Mrs. and Mr. Always Mr. is looking for the, some that I, I like some of the 85. I, Jay, which one is better for you? And they ask me something from them and I said, for me, uh, I like bigger is the better, but Mrs. is not happy always because they're 65 is big enough. Then, but Mr. <laughs> Mr. said always, no, 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 85 is 100 will pass because I agree with that because it's just when you do it, you can think about when you buy a car and you, you can think about the some your budget and the you can think about the some that future use. And but I'm always recommend this if there's no any objection, bigger is better and that no distant model, but. Some cases, some that people like uh, some of the cheaper version with some made in. There's many wider selection of the TV from third tier, fourth tier, and the top tier. Then I always recommend with uh, some of the top tier for Samsung and LG and Sony. But uh, somebody like uh, some of the. Have you heard about uh, some of the TV brand Polaroid? Polaroid? Yes. No, no, I haven't. No, I never know. But, but they bought uh, some of the Polaroid or Tommy Chain and very weird brand. But if they can compare the some the two TV like uh, some Apple app like that Samsung or then Polaroid is totally different. But if they bought from uh, some that RD and it's okay still, but picture standpoint is uh, rubbish. But there's many different tastes from the custom part. I'm always afraid of oh you you make a good decision. It's a very cheap and good TV, but not perfect. <laughs> yes. Now let's talk about the um, Wi-Fi NBN side of your business. So what sort of things are you doing for people's home? Is it improving their internet speed connection or what sort of services around that sort of uh, thing are you doing? Mostly for MBN business and the the relocation of the MBN outlet because they need uh, some little more wide uh, or fast internet in their house. But sometimes I don't know why the first telecommunication outlet is always put it in the, but in, in also the West Los Angeles. I found that many of the, the first TO telecommunication outlet is on kitchen area, but they don't like it because why the modem should be put in this area that they're gonna, there's a lot of job for the relocation from kitchen or some other, some weird place from the center of the house to get the wide spread of the, some of that all the house with the one modem. That's the relocation of the MBN outlet is the first job of the, some of the MBN area. Then the other one is for the, some of the Wi-Fi repeater because it's a, the shape of the house is very long and big, then it's not possible to reach all the corner of the house with the Wi-Fi signal. So we provide with some hard wiring with the Wi-Fi repeater, make it all the house is the same speed and same strength and quality of the, some of the signal. Then they are happy with that. That's a big job with the, some of the ambient area. And in your opinion, what's the um the best Wi-Fi router? There's obviously a lot of options, but what sort of one do you recommend to customers or you prefer to use? Uh, it depending on the some of their environment, for example, like the some of the small side of the house, I recommend with the some of the better, stronger Wi-Fi signal for 5G or some of the 2.4G antenna with the some of the stronger signal equipped with the some of the modem. That's the first choice. Otherwise, I'm going to recommend with the some of the Wi-Fi repeater, but most of the people, they're going to 
do it there by them by themselves so listen to put it in wireless Wi-Fi repeater always they're gonna put it in one side and get a sender and receiver then they're gonna connect with us in the wireless repeater but it's always there fluctuated all the time like this so if I provide you some of the hardwired one repeater in that area it's totally different and they feel like some of the steady and stable and they are happy with that mm. so depend on the some of the house by house and custom by customer and commercial by commercial but I can't tell uh, at work in what on one work because it's very very different yeah now your business Jake you mentioned commercial do you do much commercial work or what sort of stuff are you doing for commercial clients just uh, data outlet or data outlet was some of that uh, setting up with some of their Wi-Fi signal or TV system everything then even PA system like uh, some of the public the speaker like that then we provide with uh, some of that kind of uh, some of the service to some of that commercial idea Oh, awesome. Now, in regards to your business, how have you managed to get so many five-star ratings over the years? Because it's a record for gyms. I don't yeah. know I don't know anyone, or I do a lot of interviews with franchisees, and I think the most I've seen is like 600 five-star reviews. I've never seen someone with a 1,000, and I know Jim was very impressed when he told me last night about it. So how did you, how have you managed to get so many good five-star reviews over the years? Do I, to be honest, and I think uh, everybody at the, such a rate, like us on that, uh, from us in the customer, everybody gets us in the same rate, like uh, five all the time. But for me, I'm trying to provide us with a better service. For if I were, I always think about, I try to, even and my English is not perfect though, and I'm trying to explain if I find uh, some of the issues and trying to explain what's happening in your place. For example, like antenna, the TV signal issue, the section is very bad. I'm trying to explain. What's happening in your place? And there's some option A, B, C. And the if you, but I'm gonna tell, I always tell them option A or option B, option three has some of the pros and cons. And they, I'm gonna give them some of the as much as many option. Then they can select some the out of some option. Then they, I think they make us some that will be comfortable or some that they believe my suggestion. Some some people like us some the different uh, different customers have some of the different tendency like uh, some there's some people like the believe uh you're rip, you're trying to lift yeah. them up and the but I'm trying to honest and the, I'm gonna try to give them some of that many options with some of that as I knowledge as based on my knowledge and I'm gonna provide them with some that much as a choice and that they can select it then they can I, I believe they really uh happy with that. That's the one thing and the other one is I always my work of the some the belief is some the customer is always right. For example, like even they even I got some the complaint from a customer. I trying to find some the lesson learned from some that customer. But I I trying to this is some the miscommunication between mostly I got a few uh, one four or three or four for the last many years and I got for oh, one rating. Do you know why I got the some that this one rating? No, no. Star rating is one. I got four for the last 10 years. All, all this is for the, some of the miscommunication between myself and customer. And the for example, I, uh, I give them, some, for example, uh, like uh, elderly people, and the, I give them some the time and day. Then I'm going to pop in your place a certain time and day, then they, we agree it. But sometimes the, the customer waiting, waiting, waiting. Jake is not turn up today. But I give them some of the different day and different time. Then I'm trying to explain and the, I'm going to read schedule for the some up in there. They are always a little bit unhappy with the, some that not turn up today. Then that's the make a little bit uh, different. But that's the mostly miscommunication. But the other job relation with the, some of the service and I'm definitely, definitely say everybody happy with that. But the problem is communication. So I, I believe it's a, communication is a really key success pet factor and attitude for the Sunday our business. So with communication, let's just outline it for people. So key communication to you is obviously giving them the time when you're going to rock up and making sure that if you're not going to be there on that time, you text or you call them and tell them you're going to be a bit later. And then obviously following up post job, do you do any following up post job? Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. If I if I'm a little bit running late, I give them a text message or some that phone and I'm on the way and I'll receive in ten minutes, twenty minutes and I'm gonna if I'm ready or if I need to risk it I'm not trying to 
reschedule because one time is fine, but or two times or three times, a customer may not happy with some of the rescheduling. So I'm trying to keep the some of the keeping on time uh, turn up like uh, some that within ten minutes or some that within ten minutes, but one time, one time uh, turn up is a really important first and the uh, with the smiling and with the some the good <clears throat> appearance with the some that nice and that tidy uh, clothes and the then make us some that little make us like our customer happy with that. Then work standpoint, I, I'm trying to make as much as follow with the some the customers need. Because I'm, if, if I have a, some that, that differs my opinion and I'm going to try to explain him, this one is better and but that is better. But if I, if they want it, some, that certain, there's a specific region from us in the customer, for example, like a, some that TV point or ambient outlet, they need a, some that, for example, like a, they don't have to get a, some that four or five. In terms of some of the customers, uh, the, the, the closest 10 point, four data point is almost 12 grand, for example. But they usually using some of the mobile mobile devices like uh, some of that the tablet or some of the mobile phone like that in their the family members all use some of the mobile devices. Then the better idea some of that the investigators some of the needs of the, some of that Wi-Fi or internet. Then I really recommend you the some of that uh, Wi-Fi repeater or some of the boost based better option for the some of that they can spend that some of that six hundred or seven hundred they can save their money uh, five hundred or four hundred like that. Then I'm recommend that option, and that they're really happy with the some that you know, save their money. And that's the another way to. But if we get the some that if we put it in the some that four or five data point, we can get a little more money. But always they give them there some their ref- uh they tell about me they ask the to their some their friend or family referral. Yeah. There's some that another opportunity to make a business for me. It's very very. Important, yeah. That's yeah, it's great pointing that out, Jack. Yeah, as you alluded to, um, some other companies may go for that, offer them that one option, which is a lot more expensive because they're going to make more money out of it. But that person might feel as though they get ripped off and never recommend them to anyone. Whereas you're giving exactly. them the the honest answer, which might cost you money here, but you're getting three or four referrals, which is going to give you more money in the long run. So doing the exactly. right thing pays off. Yeah, that's right. There's, yeah. a, there's, there's another key uh, success or some of that, uh, the success business of the, some of the factor of our business is, uh, as I said, attitude and communication and uh, referral now, is really important. Yeah. Now, yeah. So in your business, do you do you rely on leads a little bit or do you get everything from referral or how are you generating your work? The 60% came uh, from some of the leads and the rest of the 40%, it, depending on the, some of the season and the, depending on the, some of the job. But Mostly, I think it's a 50 50 now, and with the some of that from our lead from call center, and the rest of the some of the 50 percent from our reporter and my existing customers and uh, customers' friend, customers' family members, and give them give me some of the job like that. Yeah. Now, when you get a lead from the call center, how quickly do you call the lead? Within five minutes. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, do pe- are people surprised that you call that quick? It sounds like a basic thing that you get a most job lead, the, you call. Yeah. That's right, Joel. Most of the customers surprised. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay, like that. Yeah, yeah. But that's not. A, it's very easy. While working, and I'm gonna uh, grab my phone and call it. And the, hey, this is Jim Jim Center, Jake speaking. And the, I'm gonna give there some that. I'm gonna pop in your place this hour or tomorrow. And it's a, really easy to, but to make it quick. Otherwise, they're waiting, waiting. And if, even if I call, sometimes they got some that so find someone else to. Yeah. It sounds simple. It sounds simple, but it's such a big, important thing for conversion rate to call within ASAP, right? Literally, as soon as you That's get the lead, and as you would really know cool. from from how big your yeah. business is. Yeah. Now, how, how many jobs do you roughly do a week in your business, Jake? I know that can depend on the size of the job, but how how roughly how many jobs do you do a week? A day. I'm, I'm going to tell you a day. Mostly, I have a single job for four or five a day, depending on the single job. For them, big job, one or two, but mostly. I have a job is a four or five. I got a little that lead from a little that forty more or less from call center. The rest of the forty to fifty from the forum and the existing customers. And one month I got eighty to one hundred between. Well, wow, that's great. Yeah. Now I just want to ask you real quickly before we go: Is um, are you happy with what you're making in terms of income? You've been around for ten years, which is fantastic. Are you happy with the lifestyle and you're happy with what you're making in your business? The most benefit for me. For the last 20 years, when I worked in Korea, in Seoul, I just some that uh, managing material in uh, US multinational company, 
it's not possible to balance work and life. That's, um, and we have some that different work ethic in Korea because we have to put work first all the time, let on the some that life. But now I can put my life first if I want. Then that's the one of the some that advantage for us to balance with us in the work and life. That's the biggest thing. I'm really happy with that. So in terms of some that uh, income standpoint, and the at the beginning stage, it's not we have to reflect with us some that price index. But at the time, and I'm happy with the always because I'm as for my franchise yourself, I'm a little bit. Uh, Top quartile performer. So I believe always happy with us in that uh, income standpoint. So yeah, I'm happy with that. That's great. And you get that, as you said, that lifestyle benefit where, you know, works might not be first for you now. Like you obviously, it's fine. Yeah. So it works, you know, you, you're not, you're not, um, you know, living to work. You're working, you know, you're working to live in that sort of thing. So Jake, I'll leave it there, mate. Thank you very much for your time today. I know you've been busy. Me with it. Yeah, thank you for yeah. having me with it. Yeah. But, but it's great to meet someone like you. You know, Jim was very, very impressed with, with meeting, with calling someone who's been around for 10 years with your star rating. It's definitely a record from what I know in the Jim's group. And you obviously you. A fanta- you do a fantastic job. And your English is great, mate. So don't worry about your, your English not <laughs> being great. And um, I'm sure everyone got a lot out of that. So on behalf of Jim's, we're going to get this to you. It will send you an email in five days to create an account with a call. And you get two free nights at any of your call hotel. There's heaps of them around there. Be loved in Perth. And you get 50% of dining bills and drinks and all that sort of stuff. So have a good couple of nights out on Jim's. And on behalf of Jim's, we thank you for all the great work you're doing. Thank you for your time today. Thank you, Joel. And thank you very much. And please convey my message to Jim. Uh, I'm uh, happy with that. And I'm really enjoying the, the, the voucher. <laughs> no worries. Thank, thanks, Jake. No worries, mate. Thank See you, mate. Thank no worries. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you for listening to the episode of the Gyms Podcast. If you want to learn more about the Gyms Group, head to gyms.net or call us on 131 546 Australia or 0800 454 654 New Zealand. And if you did like the episode as well, please make sure you leave a review or a comment or a thumbs up or a comment on the video as well. We appreciate your support. And until next episode, we hope you have a great week.